Well, hello, all of my typewriter friends. It's so good to be back with you today. My name is Laura with Jot and Tittle Typewriters. Love having you guys with me. And look at this gorgeous, it's a deep green, like a hunter green Olympia SM4. Can you see that? Woo, isn't that a pretty baby? Nice. I have not seen the hunter green before. And I'm in love with it. It's so pretty. So I am excited to show this off with you today. We will take a look at how to use it and then I'll do a typing demo. And if you just want to hear the recap, just scoot on over to the end of the video and listen to the recap because it does take me a while to show you guys how to use this. And if you've got one, I'm so happy for you. These are fantastic writing machines. And if you are an avid writer and you want to do extensive writing, you need an Olympia. I'm just... I think all the Olympia owners out there would agree with me. Okay, let's take a look at what we got. Fine, fine machines, really beautiful. Here we have the margins, and so you just squeeze and press, and oh, those move so nice. Your paper guide is going to be right here. All right, now the carriage release, we're used to the carriage release being right here, but it's actually on top, and you just press down while you're holding the carriage, and that just slides. It's so smooth. Now, thanks to um, a wonderful fella on YouTube who helped me figure out what this piece was. This is actually a tab clear. So you can set your tabs down here. And this will clear like an individual tab, but this clears all of them. So thanks for helping, helping a gal out by letting me know what this was. Um, right here is your paper release. So that releases the tension on your paper because sometimes you need to adjust it. And then on the left side, let's take a look here. Again, your carriage release. And then this is when you hit return, it determines if you're going to advance one, two, or three lines. Okay. There you go. So I am going to move the carriage over. And we are gonna pop the top open and take a look at this really pretty guy. So um, right here is obviously your ribbon spool and it uses a universal ribbon, which is a two inch spool. And you just pop them in and out. It's very easy. Uh, make sure when you do reinstall it that it goes through these little double barrel looking things and then that is properly threaded through these guide wires. I've taken an up close photo. It's on my website. And if you use the link below, it'll take you to the product listing. And even if it's sold, you'll still be able to see the photos. Now there's an arm down here. It's a spring loaded and you just pull that back before you pull out the um, ribbons. And when you do change it, make sure black is on top, red is on the bottom. Now, even though these don't have a whole lot of ribbon on them, when you get to the end of the spool, you just reverse the direction because there's a lot of ink in these ribbons and that ink, it takes a very, very, very long time for them to dry out. So to reverse the direction, you just push on these double barrels. It doesn't matter which side, just push back and forth. That reverses the direction of your ribbon. This little lever over here, that determines how hard these bars are going to strike your paper. So let's say your font is just like really dark and it's kind of like bleeding. Maybe it's striking too hard. So one, two things you can do, you can um, use less pressure while typing, but then you can also adjust this right here. Okay, let's go ahead and close that and bring this over. So here is your tab button. Remember the set and the clear is right here. This is your carriage lock, so this will actually lock the carriage so it doesn't move. So you can do the carriage release, it's not gonna go anywhere. It's really handy when you are moving it around. Uh, the draw band can snap and break if you're like picking it up and the carriage just goes flying. Um, so it's good, and then I, that released it. It's good to use your carriage lock if you're moving it around. Okay, let's go ahead and do our typing demo. Okay, so you just take your paper and set it right there and turn the handle and pull that through. And it's nice and even, very nice. I like to see that. Let's 
pull that over. I am going to check my margins, bring this in, and let's go ahead and get started. Now, this doesn't have a number one on it, so you use the lowercase l. So this is a 1960. Olympia SM. Four. Very nice. Olympia is, if you've ever typed on Olympia, you know, just it's so nice to type on. Really fantastic feel to it. Again, avid writers love it. Um, I will say one note that that number three in the caps, it does. Uh, a stick. I have. We've worked on it, but um, we don't want to uh, bend any keys. We're not that good at it um, in terms of uh, we we'd make some adjustments, but that one um, does give us a little bit of fits. So just know when you use the hashtag, it is a little sticky. The lowercase seems to be fine. It's just when you use the up shift hashtag. It's a little sticky. But the rest of these, beautiful, smooth, smooth like butter, like I like to say. Let's go ahead and do some typing. Do some red. Whoops, three at once. That doesn't work. Nice bell. All right, this, this type's so nice, beautiful. I mean, you'll see some uh, typing errors. That's my issue, not the, not the typewriter's issue. So it's beautiful, works really well. The only issue was the um, shift three, which was the pound sign, is a little sticky. Um, and we've, we've worked on that a few times and um, it just wants to stick. So other than that I mean this is a fantastic writing if you don't do um, multiple keys at once machine um, exclamation point love it you're gonna love it great for writing books longer writing projects poetry the exterior is in fantastic condition so if you want to learn more, click on the link below and have a great day. Happy typing.